All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. The name of this lesson is going to be entitled, The North American Indians Knew the Name of God and the Messiah. And in this lesson, I'd like to give credit to a brother in Canada. I think the brother's name is uh, Dawad. And uh, I'm giving credit to the brother because a couple years back, he did a lesson going into the same thing. I write going into the same topic and, and the same information in this book. But I'm doing it to uh, to basically push out more that the North American Indians are indeed Israelites according to the Bible. That the North American Indians are Israelites and they are the Israelites of the, of the tribe of Gad. Okay? So this is just a, uh, a re refresher of, of the lesson that the brother did, okay? Now you have the book here, The Ten Tribes of Israel, or The True History of the North American Indians, showing that they are the descendants of these ten tribes, by Timothy R. Jenkins. And I'm going to get to the point, all right? And this is a very good book, all right? Uh, that's why I bought it, and I bought it after the, the brother did the lesson on it, okay? And, um, you know, when you when you read all this information, really, it, it says the same thing, man. You know, just, just information proving that they had similar customs and, and feasts to that of the Israelites because they are the Israelites, okay? You know, so it, it, it's all the same thing, man. All right, now, uh, now this is on page 167. I'm going to skip down here. Uh, it's the section... Their feast of love. Every spring season, one town or more of the Mississippi Floridians keep a solemn feast of love to renew their old friendships. Now, the Mississippi Floridians are the uh, the, the Choctaw, the the Choctaw tribe. All right, because Mississippi was known as, and it still is uh, known as a. Uh, Choctaw Nation, e even though, you know, a, a lot of uh, the Choctaw aren't here anymore, Mississippi is known as Choctaw Nation, and uh, a lot of the Choctaw migrated, and you had Choctaw that actually lived in uh, Florida, okay? So the Mississippi Floridians are, are the Choctaw, all right? But uh, it says, they keep a solemn feast of love to renew their old friendships. They call this annual feast Hotuk uh, uh, Amaipa uh, Heath, Heathla Tana'a. That is, the people eat, dance, and walk as twin brothers. The short name of the feast is Hotuk Mpana'a. That is, eating by a strong religious and social principle. Mpana'a signifies, as I am informed, several threads or, st or strands twined together. They assemble three nights before the feast. On the fourth night, they eat together. During the intermediate space, the young men and women dance in circles from the evening to the morning. When they meet at night, it is professed to be to gladden and unite their hearts before Yohiwa. Which really they were saying Yahweh. All right. It says Yohiwa, but they were saying Yahweh initially. They sing Yohiwa Show I, Yohiwa Shu, Yohiwa Shu, Yohi Wa She, Yohi Wa She, Yohi Wa Shai, Yohi Wa Shai. And re really, they were saying Yahweh Shai. All right, so where it says Yohiwa, they were saying Yahweh. And where it says Yohiwa Shai, they were saying Yahweh Shai. So they knew the name of the father, who, whose name is Yahweh, and they knew the name of his son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And, and it says, with great energy, 
meaning with great spirit. They, they, they were singing these names, man, because they were praising the name of the Lord and the name of his son. All right. When you read in Proverbs 30 and four, it says, what is his name? Meaning the father's name. And what is his son's name? All right. If thou canst tell, meaning if you know it, because we're supposed to know those names. Those names are, are, are the keys, man. All right. And they sing it with great energy, with great spirit. And it says the first word is nearly in the Hebrew characters. <laughs> hey, that's the devil for you. That's Esau. It is. It is Hebrew. They were they were uh, saying. All right. Even though there are no O's and E's in Hebrew. All right. Th they were saying the real the real thing, though. All right. It says the first word is nearly in the Hebrew characters. The name of Joshua or Savior. All right. Because, you know, when you go into it, uh, our, our Lord, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, him and uh, him and Joshua had the same name. You know, uh, you know about Joshua. He led Israel into the promised land. Well, they, they both had the same name, which is Yahweh Shai. But really, there is only one Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior. They had the same name because, you know, uh, Joshua, he, he saved Israel. All right. And led Israel in, into the uh, promised land. OK, but, um, you know, you have the Messiah whose name is Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's the point. All right. They knew the name of the father whose name is Yahweh. And they knew the name of his son whose name is Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that. I hope this was edifying, you know, just to prove the point. Gad knew the name of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh. They knew the name of his son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And they were speaking in the Hebrew. So you got to ignore what Esau says. But at the same time, there are no O's and E's in Hebrew. So with that, all praise to Yahweh Shai. Till the next lesson I say, Shalom.